Drum Speedway. With me now, Jack Abney, one of the tech guys here. Jack, I've been watching what's going on here with the tires. Could you give us an explanation of what's going on? For the 100 laps event, uh, Stan Lasky has decided to get the tires out of the Hoosier trailer, have them mounted. Each car gets its own four tires, and then they're marked, and then they're stenciled, so the tires cannot be changed. They're in this area and impounded till approximately 20 minutes to a half hour before the feature event. The tires are put on the car, and then once they're put on the car, they're run. We have pit officials in the front row. If, in fact, one of the cars doesn't need the tire change, they have to get an official to okay the tire change. It keeps it fair amongst the field that all the tires are the same. I guess the idea behind this is to make sure there's no funny business going on with the tires? I don't think we've ever had that trouble. I think it's just it keeps it on an even keel early, so that way there's no chance of that happening. So each set of tires here already belongs to one of these teams. Right, and they're, they come out of the trailer with the Hoosier rep. The Hoosier rep knows what tires he sells. Once they're put with a set of rims, those tires become part of that set of rims until this event's over. They cannot be changed. Now, if a driver does have to change a tire, where do they get the tire to put on? They have tires in the pits. They will start with these four. If they have a flat or some kind of accident which damages the tire, the tech officials and the race officials will be on the front row in different locations to make sure if the tire does get changed and in fact did need change. Do you have other tech duties here or are you basically worried about these tires? Uh, we have a few guys that specialize. I do corner work, I'll drive the pace truck at times, whatever Stan needs and the group needs, we do. How long did it take you to learn about this kind of stuff? Pretty much with the guys that are teaching us, uh, both Freddie and Ted, uh, they do a good job and uh, everybody that's done it so far, they explain it to you and it's, it's fair across the board. Well, I want you to know from a racer's point of view, they appreciate the effort that the tech people go through to make sure everyone's playing on a level field. Thanks for taking the time to Thank talk to us, Jack, and uh, get back to work. Huh? Absolutely.